Hello and welcome to Symmetry's AutoCAD 2022 new features video. My name is Terry Dean. I'm one of the application specialists here at Symmetry. I will be informing you about some of the new features to be introduced within AutoCAD 2022. The first new feature I'm going to focus upon will be something called Trace. Trace provides a method to safely collaborate with others by overlaying a drawing with feedback necessary to carry out essential modifications or rework to the drawing. Trace overlays the drawing with what is best described as tracing paper, upon which any necessary information can be added to highlight and prompt for appropriate actions. A trace or multiple traces can be added to the drawing within the AutoCAD web app or mobile app. Once a trace or traces have been created using these apps, the drawing can be shared for colleagues to view and act upon within desktop AutoCAD. Within AutoCAD, a trace palette can be enabled, which lists the available traces. When clicked upon, the trace appears, showing the overlaid information. Using this information, the drawing can be updated as necessary. This does appear at first to do something similar to what Desktop Design Review provided, but it couldn't actually open a DWG without the added installation of TrueView. The Autodesk Viewer can also do similar things, but this new trace facility appears to make these processes easier because it works solely with the drawing file. I'll begin by looking at a typical trace workflow. Within the AutoCAD web app, I'll open a drawing for review and add a trace to notify whoever is responsible for the drawing of the necessary actions required. Before I add a trace, I will create a layer for trace elements. This is optional, but it gives me more control over its color. Otherwise, layer zero is used. So over here in the layers icon, I can come into the layers palette and choose new layer. And I'm going to call this Trace Elements. And then that will enable me to give it the colour of my choice. So if I click on there and I'll choose yellow. I'll now create the trace. So I come over to the bar on the left hand side again. Choose Traces. Select New Trace. That automatically gives it a default name. I'll right click upon it and choose rename and type in there door updates. Notice how the view has this faded grey covering to replicate uh, tracing paper. Before I begin adding trace elements, I'll set the current layer to the layer that I just made. Like so. I'm now going to draw rev clouds around the relevant areas to be reviewed and a note to explain what needs to be done. Notice the tools available to add and modify trace elements down here on the left are the same for working on the actual drawing itself. When I zoom into the drawing, I notice there is in fact a door symbol missing here. And over here on the right hand side, I want this door to be moved along its wall to approximately in that location there. So I'll begin by adding a, a rev cloud to highlight those areas. So I'll go down to the annotate tab down here and choose rev cloud and open up a rev cloud to encircle that area like so. And I'll do the same thing over here. So I'll choose rev cloud again and I'll draw a rev cloud around there like so. I'm now going to add another trace element to show where I want this door to be roughly moved to. So I'll choose the draw tab, choose rectangle, I'll draw a rectangle here uh, which is roughly uh, 914, tab there and 127 enter and I'll now move this into position here. So I'll choose from the modify tab once again there's a 
modify tools down here, choose modify, move, sorry. Click on the box. Confirm. Snap to that corner there. What I want to do is move that to a point along here. So I'm going to use the nearest object snap. So if I shift right click and choose object snap overrides, I can come down here and click on nearest and I'll just place it in that vicinity there. And then I'll follow that by using the rotate command down here in the modify tab again. Select the shape. Confirm, select where I want to pivot it, and then just pick on there like so. So whoever looks at this will know roughly where I want that door to be moved to. I'll now add two notes to inform whoever is responsible for this drawing uh, what it is I want them to do. So I come down here to the Annotate tab, choose the M Leader tool. Snap that onto the rev cloud, drag down here, and I'll say move door to location indicated. And accept that, and then come over to the other rev cloud and add a note to that, so I'll snap that to there like so, and I'll say indicate that door symbol is missing, and I'll leave it as that, and click OK, good. I'll just zoom out, and importantly I'll choose the done tick on the trace toolbar here, and then follow that up by choosing save up here in the right hand corner. Notice the trace elements have disappeared. That's because the trace is effectively closed. So over here in the traces palette, if I click on door update, you can see we can we return those to the screen. If I right click on door update, I can choose close. And if I click on it again, I can open or alternatively, I can come to the done tick here to turn it off like so. So there's a number of ways in which you can either display or hide the traces as and when required. So if I click on there again, you see how that's how you can bring those back. Once again, I'll close the trace by choosing done. Once the file has been successfully saved, we can close the file by clicking on the folder in which it originally came from. In Desktop AutoCAD, when the file is opened by a colleague, a notification will appear in the bottom right corner, indicating design feedback is ready for review and a trace was added or modified. This notification will have a link at the bottom, similar to the one shown. When the link is selected, the trace will appear, overlaying the drawing elements. Because I'm responsible for adding the traces, I will not be notified, so I will select the available trace to open it. Up on the Collaborate tab within the Traces panel, I'll select the Traces palette. And this will list, in this occasion, just the one trace, but if there were multiple traces, they would all appear here. And it will not only show me who's created the trace, but it will also provide me with information as to when it was created and also when it was last modified. The palette is used to display the traces as well as close the traces. But as you can see on the right click menu, it can also be used to rename them or delete them. I'll now turn on the trace to reveal the information provided. I'll zoom into the areas and see what needs to be done, as we can see. And to make things clearer, so to make the trace go into the background and the drawing elements come to the foreground, we can select this icon here, which is called back front or back. So if I click on there, 
you can see it makes it easier for me to see the actual drawing elements. So now the drawing elements are easy to see, I'll carry out the modifications. So I'm first of all going to copy this door to the opening that uh, doesn't have a symbol at the moment, like so. There we go, and cancel what I've done there. Um, I'm just going to check my object snap for midpoint. There we go, I have it there, good. And I'm now going to rotate this symbol and I'm going to use shift right click mid between two points and find the middle of the door opening itself and then just rotate that around like so. So that's where I've now done what has been required of me. I've now placed a symbol in there at the correct orientation and I'm now going to move this door uh, to this location here. And to do that, I'm going to use the stretch tool. So I go to the home tab and to stretch. I'm also going to use a crossing polygon for this. So I go from there to there, to there, enter, enter again. And I'm now going to snap from there to that object there. Now notice how it's not actually snapping to the trace elements. So I'll cancel what I'm doing. With the introduction of traces, there's also been um, some system variables introduced. And for this problem that I'm encountering here is one called trace OSnap. And it's currently set to zero, which means it won't allow me to snap to trace elements. So if I set that to one, that will now let me achieve that. So if I go through the stretch procedure again, so enter, enter, I should find that I can now snap to that entity like so. Now I've carried out the changes, I'll zoom to extents, I'll uh, hide the trace again, so I'll choose done here or close trace. And of course, the important thing would be then to save the drawing and then close. I would also inform the person who was responsible for providing me those notifications that I've actually carried out the rework. Well, that concludes this AutoCAD 2022 new features video, focusing upon the new trace tool. I hope you found it useful. Look out for our other videos for other 2022 products on our website. Thank you for watching.